run, man. Y'all are wrong for how y'all doing that girl. Let her run. It's just weed. I don't know why y'all doing that. Some of y'all own weed companies yourself. Why don't y'all just let her run? This is racist what y'all doing. We need to be taking a stand. If you ain't mad about this, then you part of the problem. Just as for Shakiri. Every time I try to leave, Shakiri keeps pulling me back, me back, telling me I need to do a report. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. That's right. We're back with another Shakiri Richardson story. We're back with another Shakiri Richardson story on the re report. On the way in, be sure to smash that like button. Be sure to. Um, you know, leave a comment, tell me what you guys think about what I'm about to say, but do that afterwards. Anyway, yep, back with another story. Um, of course, you guys know, blah, blah, blah. Here we go again. She was suspended from the Olympics. From She was suspended for 30 days for testing positive for marijuana. She came back a couple days ago. She ran in a race where she finished in ninth place. Not ninth out of 100, not ninth out of 50, not ninth out of 30. She finished ninth out of nine. She finished dead last again she's back it was her first race back in a while like i said even if she were at the olympics she would not have made it to that podium those girls are on a whole different level than her and it showed but that's not what we're here to talk about we're here to talk about the fact that shakiri richardson appeared to have taken a shot at Allison Felix. Now, I am not too familiar with Allison Felix, and I know that's probably a sin for some of you watching this video, but the name did ring a bell when I saw what had happened. I remembered a little bit who she was, and of course, she is a track star. She was a former track star, the most decorated track star apparently of all time, 27 gold medals, eight silvers, five bronze, but those two doesn't matter because she has won 27 gold medals, which tells me she has done some things in the um, track industry. Her um, personal best in the 100 is a 10.89 in London back in 2012. Uh, in the 200, she ran a 21.69 back in Eugene in 2012. And in the 400, she has a personal best of 49.26. And this happened in Beijing in uh, 2015. Now, my personal best in the 400 when I ran in college was like 53 something. So, yeah, she's faster than me. Anyway, so yeah, Alex Felix was on um, Jimmy Kimmel with Stephen A. Smith. Yes, you heard me right. Stephen A. Smith is hosting the Jimmy Kimmel show. And they were doing an interview. And at the end of the interview, Stephen A. asked her about. Shakiri Richardson, her thoughts. And she's obviously been through so much, Felix said. I hope that she's just supportive. I hope that people rally around her. Obviously, she has a great personality and she's brought a lot of attention to the sport. 100% true. That is 100% true. I don't think we'll be having this discussion had it not been for... Her. She brought a lot of attention to the sport, but can you argue it was for the wrong reason? Anyway, I'm not gonna even get into that right now. Um, she brought a lot of attention to the sport. Uh, this is what Felix is saying. I think she'll be in the sport for a very long time. This sounds very complimentary to me. This sounds very complimentary. She goes on to say, I think just more than anything for all athletes, there's so much that goes into, we just know. There's, wait, how did she say that? There's so much that goes into it oh my bad we just know you know give her the support that she needs unquote and it appears that shakiri i don't know if she didn't if she felt some type of way about this or or what or why or did allison say something that she didn't like did allison previously you know i don't know i don't think there's a previous beef or anything but shakiri took the instagram and posted and she'll probably come out later and say, everybody talking about, I'm talking about Allison. I wasn't even talking about her. I was talking about something else. Ha ha jokes on you. She might do that. She, she, I'm telling you, man, this generation will pull something like that. But anyway, she took the Instagram and said, encouraging words on TV shows are just as real as, well, nothing at all. Whoa. Whoa. Is there something we don't know? Is there something we don't know? Because even if you felt some type of way about that, 
All you had to do was DM Allison personally and say, hey, can we talk? This is how, I don't know why you would feel some type of way about that. She was asked a question and felt very complimentary, like I said, but just DM her, try to connect with her and call her and say, hey, let's talk. Can you mentor me or whatever the case may be? I felt slighted by what you said. You don't know, I don't know what she would say to want to check Allison Felix, but did you really go and have to post that? Yes, she did because that's who she is. That's what people have been saying about her. Why everybody's talking about y'all hating on her, being too hard on her. Somebody in the comments of the uh, previous video called me a wuss or a wuss. I don't know what he was trying to say. He said, stop hating on her or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, I can go check that out. But that's who she is. That's who she is, man. She wants the negative attention. She's someone who's scouring the internet looking for something that somebody said bad about her and if you that and you can say oh she's using that for fuel she's using that for motivation but that's that right there will only hinder you at the in, in the end because you, you've heard the phrase before i think it goes some haters are our motivators why are you spending time thinking about the people that's hating on you why are they a concern of yours work out like you said you finished night you said you were going to get in the lab Get in the lab, do your thing, prove everybody wrong. You are talented, but it does not change the fact that you finished dead last the other day. First race back or not, you finished dead last. They set you up to prove to you that you don't even belong on the same track with those ladies. But you did all that woofing. You said that about Allison Felix when all you had to do was contact her personally. But you want this attention. You want, you feel like being the villain is going to, it, 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 again, it's going to give you the position to overshadow the greatness people like Elaine Herrera Thompson is uh, currently accomplishing because that's the world we live in where the negative is the story and you get rewarded for bad behavior. That's the world we live in. If we're just being honest, we all know this, but she wants the negative attention. She wants to feel like the world against her. So when she does something spectacular, she can say, oh, everybody who was hating on me, look at y'all now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You won't get an interview from me. You ain't gonna like, oh, nobody care. But yeah, so my thing now is to all those celebrities, athletes, and people saying, let her run, all that, justice for Shakiri, whatever they were saying, where y'all at now? Gabrielle Union, Patrick Mahomes, Dwayne Wade, Odell Beckham, Jamal Crawford, all you who was tweeting about let her run. Are you guys contacting her personally to talk to her, to give her encouraging words? Now, you were quick to put out the tweets to defend her when she couldn't run, when she did something that caused her not to run. But you're not here now that she's talking about one of the most decorated track stars of all time, Allison Felix. So I'm going to need to see them tweets because y'all was doing a whole lot of caping for her wrongdoing. It's not like they kicked her out of the Olympics to just do it wrong. She got caught. She owned up to it. And y'all made things worse by saying, let her run and doing all of these things, knowing that a young girl like that is going to take that and feed into something like that. But I don't hear nobody talking now. And everybody talking about everybody, a lot of not the celebrities, and the, for, as far from what I've seen, none of the people who were trying to cape for her when she got suspended. But you do got people now saying, oh, now she's going too far, talking about Alice and Felix. Yes, this is what people were trying to tell you. This is no hit against her. Nobody's after her personally. People are disappointed that she let them down because we wanted to see what she would do once she got to Tokyo. And now she's showing y'all that this is what she's about. Y'all gassed her up, making her think that everybody else was in the wrong for having critique for her. And now y'all seeing what y'all created. This is who she is. She had no right to publicly come at Allison Felix like this, even if she felt some type of way, contact her personally. Yeah, that's all I got to say about it. I appreciate you guys for supporting the channel. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment on the video. Do you think she was in the wrong for this? Um, until next time, be better. <laughs>